Since the health event came to the US, you know, to, to our country, telephone sales have exploded. And due to the overwhelming amount of new insurance agent saturation that's been going on, and especially with the final expense telesales industry, selling over the phone has gotten more and more difficult over the past two years. <gasps> We're talking call center after call center after call center. They're just popping up everywhere all over the world. And don't forget all the insurance agencies that ended up transitioning their agents to selling over the phone, you know, due to the health crisis. In this video, I'm going to share with you six, whatever it is, six tips that will absolutely help you stick out amongst the crowd including how we have agents that have at least 10, believe it or not, 10 appointments booked up per day without the agent even having to make a single phone call. Yes, the prospects are booking the appointments themselves. The idea of this video is so that it's not only easier for you to sell final expense over the telephone, but you'll also be able to keep the clients on the books longer than most telesales agents. Better yet, Follow my tips, the suggestions I'm making in this video. And when another insurance agent actually comes along to your client's house and tries to replace the policy that you sold them, your client will actually pick up the phone and give you a call right then and there. Stick around to the end of this video and I'm gonna show you guys how to get a copy of our telesales presentation and the medical questions page that you're gonna to wanna to use while selling over the phone and even for face to face and yes, I'd love to invite you to give this video a thumbs up right now and subscribe if you're new. We're putting out content just like this every week. Let's start with tip number one. Lead with a solid main slash primary carrier. And whether you're an independent insurance agent or a captive agent, I would try to avoid the more expensive insurance companies in the industry. Now, there are some exceptions depending on, you know, if they're helping you with leads, so I understand that, but probably the most expensive product out there is from an insurance company whose first name starts with, well, the same name as our, I believe, 16th president. Uh, let's put it this way. That president may or may not have been famous for freeing slaves and actually getting murdered while watching a play. As an insurance agency owner and an experienced top producer, selling the very cheapest insurance product isn't gonna be the first thing that I look at. At least that's not what I look for. You know, and especially when it comes to telesales. First, I wanna make sure that the carrier has really easy underwriting. I mean, as easy as possible. And since I've never had an insurance carrier tell me that their underwriting was anything other than the best, the easiest, I mean, they all claim to have the easiest underwriting, which is horse manure, to be honest with you. So look, you're gonna have to do your own research and decide for yourself who to lead with. And I will make some suggestions at the end of this video, so stick around. And the second thing that I look for in an insurance carrier is the telesales process. And to me, this is very important. So listen up, guys. The very last thing that I would ever suggest is to sell a product through an insurance carrier or an insurance company that requires a signature where, and let me explain, where like you have to email the client or the insurance company emails the client and then they've got to like click on a link, you know, or respond with their signature as, guys, this is just counterproductive. You know, the bottom line is most of our seniors can't do that. A lot of them have a hard time even opening, well, their email. Company that comes to mind, Mutual of Omaha, and don't take me wrong, guys, they're a great company for face-to-face -face sales. But, you know, the idea of them requiring someone in their 70s to have to open up an email for a signature for us, for the process, it's just not practical. And I promise you, this will cost you wasted time, and in the long run, it'll definitely cost you more sales. So forget about that. And the third thing I look at in a carrier and in an insurance company is the price. Yes, I don't put the price first, like I said before, but 
The last thing that I would recommend is an expensive product unless, and you know, let me just say there are other exceptions, but here's, here's like an exception. Um, like maybe first, you're getting leads from that company and second, they have solid training. So now it kind of makes sense as, you know, like a good place to start. The nice thing about working with a company that has their own insurance product like, well, like Senior Life uh, of Georgia, for instance, uh, is that you can learn how to sell the product, you know, how to actually close sales over the phone. And then you can decide if this is really what you want to do. And then you can either do, you know, do something else and, you know, go, go back to the old business or find something else to do, or you can become an independent agent, which means at that point, you're in a position to get serious about selling final expense over the phone, which leads to tip number two, your ultimate goal should be to sell insurance as a totally 100% completely independent insurance agent. Again, this will put you in the position to have higher commissions and more competitive products for your clients and a lot more options too. Every insurance agency is a little different, but a really good insurance agency, and I'd, I'd like to consider us being, uh, being there, you know, in that top five category, will give you access to cheat sheets and can easily guide and direct you to price out products that maybe match your client's health criteria. You know, we're gonna help you to make sure you, you get the best product based on the health and the way the client pays for that client. A good independent agent has multiple products for multiple scenarios, including people who, well, may not have a social security number. Uh, maybe they can only pay with like a debit card or a direct express card. Um, and again, maybe they have some really serious, serious or even like unique health conditions. Tip number three is all about having realistic expectations. And I would say, you know, really based on what you're willing to invest into your telesales insurance business. It's all about investment, you know, time, money, etc. When you're new at selling anything, you're probably not going to have like instant success, right? Let's, there's a learning curve. Yeah, I mean, as a matter of fact, we all have a different learning curve. And with final expense telesales, your learning curve is going to be a lot different, maybe either shorter or longer than like the next agent, you know, the next guy or gal. Therefore, keep your expectations realistic and make sure you have at least a few thousand dollars of startup money to help get you through your first few months. I mean, that's the way to look at it. It's not like you're going to like run some ads and get some leads and make a bunch of sales on your first day. I, I mean, that's just not realistic. You got to get through the learning curve. Believe it or not, for only a couple of thousand dollars, I've got someone who will set up your ads, can actually show you how to run the ads too. And that way you have your clients booking their own appointments. Like we're talking like 10 to 12 every single day and they're doing it all on their own. They're, it's all automated. So they're, they're setting it up themselves on your calendar. So you're not even like making phone calls to book appointments. Guys, you, you gotta understand, this is the type of business where the more talented, financially vested and hardworking individuals, insurance agents can easily make like a hundred or over $200,000 per year. And if they've got the right technique, they're using the right tactics and they're, they're reinvesting and, and really working hard can potentially make even more, like a lot more. This probably won't happen easily. So be prepared. You got to put in the time and financial investment that it's going to take. You just need to accept the fact that part of the learning curve will come from you making simple mistakes. We all do it and you're going to need to learn from them. So don't give up no matter what. Trust me guys, if I can do it, anybody who's willing to put it all on the line and go in 110% can make it in insurance sales too, especially over the phone. Tip number four is all about leads. Stop buying leads. Now, hold on because yes, I'm gonna share a tip on how 
you can have more exclusive high quality preset appointments of people who are actually interested in buying insurance from you but first please listen up when you buy leads from a vendor you are depending on someone else for the most important part of your business getting on the phone with people to sell to right i mean first off the telemarketers destroyed our industry last year well to a degree um, you know by overcalling the market remember every face-to-face -face insurance agency added telesales, uh, final expense and other types of insurance sales when the health you know things happen you know and the, the whole health crowd I don't even like to talk about it um, and the telemarketer calls were so off the charts I mean the phones were ringing so much that our seniors pretty much stopped answering the phone also since overseas call centers are not regulated by the same rules and this is messed up that the US call centers have to abide by if you buy leads from an overseas call center you are most likely buying non-compliant illegal leads and by doing this you're putting yourself you're putting your upline you're putting putting everybody who's working with the insurance company including the insurance carrier at risk for like a really expensive lawsuit and when you buy leads you have no control over the quality I mean you're kind of you're kind of depending on them to to give you quality and for example when you buy a Facebook lead for telesales the Facebook lead companies are not going to share their ad copy with you and they're not going to show you the landing page that the client is filling out their information on right the normal and what usually happens is the quality is good in the beginning and this is what I've learned from buying you know Facebook leads the quality is usually really good in the beginning because you just started work in that area and then you start to notice that it changes and like over just like a few weeks um, and then suddenly the decent leads you were getting seems to have suddenly turned into leads of people that are really not that interested in buying from you this is a rhetorical question but I'm gonna ask it do you want high quality leads <laughs> If so, you're going to need to learn how to generate your own Facebook leads slash preset appointments is really what they are. Guys, you got to do your research. I'm telling you, there are a lot of companies that will teach you how to effectively advertise on Facebook. And um, my advice, if you've never run Facebook ads before, then I don't really suggest that you just start doing this on your own as you're not going to be able to do nearly what these guys the pros can teach you how to do um, especially like with the the preset appointments and now you're going to end up wasting your time and wasting your money call your upline this is how I see it if the agency that you are working with doesn't have someone that they've worked with or that they can recommend to teach their agents to teach you how to generate Facebook preset appointments you know like where the clients are actually booking an appointment on their own to speak with you then you're probably working with the wrong insurance agency I mean this can get expensive but they should at least be able to have somebody to to help you I know that our contracted agents have access to a guy who sets up the ads for them and the funnels so that the agents have if they want 10 or 12 appointments booked up each day they will get 10 to 12 appointments booked up each day and he also shows you know you how to do it on your own so he's not just setting it up and leaving you in the dark he's setting it up and then showing you how you can do it which is great now you're in control think about it once you've learned how to generate your own Facebook appointments is really what they are you run the ad copy and you control the lead quality you know what they're reading you know what they're setting an appointment to I mean does it get any better than that tip number five no matter what you do make sure that you've got a system in place to how do I say this to not only keep in contact with your clients because you can't just sell them and disappear but you also want to make it easy for you to do this in a way that helps your relationship with your clients stay in, intact you know and even get better so that they well one will refer you to their friends and family and two so that when another agent comes snooping around your client or calls them and lies about working with you the client picks up the phone and actually calls you and says hey I got an agent here what do I do there's an easy way to do this you simply put all your clients into a CRM send them automated voice messages at least a couple times per year 
you're gonna wanna pick up the phone and call them yourself on their birthday. And I would even, the, to me this is major, make sure to send them not only like a handwritten card, you know, for the holidays, but send them a thank you card the same day that you sell them, the same day that you speak with them, you know, for the first time. The idea is for them to constantly be hearing from you and hearing your name and hearing your voice too. Last tip guys, make sure that every few months the automated voicemail drop that they are getting through your CRM, you know, with your voice on it, has you reminding them not to trust people that call them or anyone that might come by and try to replace the policy that you sold people will call them and say, oh yeah, no, I work with your insurance agent. I mentioned earlier that I would recommend some insurance carriers that have really good telesales processes, you know, the, the, their product. And yes, you can contract these carriers directly through us as an independent insurance agent, which means higher commissions, uh, first day vesting, the whole nine yards. My favorites are, and I'm, I'm gonna share them in order of best to last. Well, first, Prosperity. That, to me, they should be your leading carrier. They've got lenient underwriting. They pay, this is pretty cool, they pay full commissions whether you sell the level, the graded, or the modified product. And they take direct express cards too. And even debit cards for that first payment. Um, and they'll even take the debit cards in the event where like the client misses a payment or something and has to call in and, and make a payment. Royal Neighbors is my second fave. I mean, I love Royal Neighbors. They're right there next to Prosperity. Um, they're my second favorite because they too have really easy underwriting, which is very important. And they don't ask about height and weight. They don't have a build chart. Pretty cool. Um, and they also don't even ask about insulin use or diabetic neuropathy. I mean, that is like major, major stuff. And they do have a true telesales application. And the way this works, you know, uh, you don't have to fill out anything online or send in anything. The application is done 100% over the phone. You, you call in to do your three-way call. And what happens is the agent that works for Royal Neighbors picks up the phone and asks everything, all the questions on the application and even gets their, um, like, like their information, like the banking information, etc. Liberty Bankers Life is third. They've got the same type of true telephone application that I just described that Royal Neighbors has and they're very competitive. They really are. Um, so, so they've got their use and the more you use them the more you realize you, you're either going to love them more or maybe not as much. The Aetna Ascendo product has some pretty nice niches also and that's number four. And they're kind of tied with American Amicable just because of the easy application processes that the two companies have. You gotta have a guaranteed issue carrier. And for guaranteed issue, I recommend Great Western because they've got a super easy application. Pro it's, it's literally the easiest application in the industry. Well, it's kind of tied with Aetna. Aetna has a really easy application, but Aetna doesn't do true social security billing which, you know, with guaranteed issue, unfortunately, Great Western doesn't either. But again, you need a guaranteed issue carrier. I love Great Western. I put them number one for GI companies. Great Western will insure anyone with a heartbeat between the ages of 40 and 80 years old. And again, no matter what health conditions they're suffering from, it's guaranteed issue, so there's no questions asked. Um, and all of these carriers and their health niches are listed on my cheat sheet, which you'll get if you decide to contract and sell through our insurance agency. For a copy of the telesales medical questions page and the telephone sales presentation, it's, it's more of a generic version, but it's better than most of the stuff out there. Uh, and we've got it for you. Just shoot me an email at doug at ufesonline.com. For more information on selling insurance products through us as a completely independent insurance agent, just shoot me an email at that same address. As always guys, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now get out there or get on that phone and do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.